All right, everyone, I finally have all the Lego Ceratopsids. Uh, we have Nezuto Ceratops, and then, well, it's meant to be a Nezuto Ceratops, but it has the Horned Triceratops. You can tell it's Nezuto Ceratops by the coloring. We have the OG Triceratops here. This is uh, not actually official Lego. This is a knockoff, so don't go thinking this is actually in a set. Don't worry. It was one of uh, the knockoff sets from a, a while ago. And then I'm going to say... This baby could either be Spinoceratops or Spinocino, or it could be a baby Nezutoceratops, which I kind of want it to be a baby Nezutoceratops, because it goes along with this nice, and we know there is a baby Nezutoceratops. Then over here, this is also Triceratops, and it was called Triceratops in the Legends of Island Nublar series, and there was a separate Sinoceratops Lego model in that series, but I reckon just so we can have all the Ceratops seeds, I'm just going to call it Sinoceratops. For this video if that's all right with you guys and we've got a baby one of each basically which is so awesome we've also got uh the vehicle over here or the little buggy and then we have the truck so we've i've also brought in the <laughs> triceratops skull from the mansion set so we have basically every triceratops to show here hope you guys all like it and yeah but let's move all the other ceratops seeds out the way and get to our main one from the set. All right, so here it is all separately. You have the four minifigures. Both are called guards, except this guard uh, kind of has the shirt of Zach Mitchell from the Lego Jurassic World sets. So I have it somewhere in there. You can see gray. Zach's in the gyros here. And then... These are probably the two most exciting figures, even though we've already got the exact same head of Claire for each and every time. But the new suits are very interesting, so they've kind of differed them. You can see that one's kind of tucked in there, and then Franklin's is more zipped up. And it's really cool. Uh, if you want, like, a Franklin and also Zia minifigure, you can buy the Junior set. This also comes with Owen, so it's great if you want Claire, Franklin, Zia, and Owen. And yeah, these are the this set and the junior set are the only two ways to get Franklin and Zia, unless you bought the Fallen Kingdom variants. Which yeah, I I feel like they're probably just gonna sideline these guys for uh, Dominion. Unfortunately, they don't look like they're gonna be in it too much. This is the back face of uh Franklin. There we go. It's a bit <laughs> it's a bit weirder, and then the front face. He's smiling obviously did yeah the previous one had glasses actually so i don't know if he'll be wearing glasses in this movie which should be interesting and then these guys uh does he have does this one have a second face no it doesn't so it's just kind of a plain figure with an oldish looking face you can see uh the cheek the cheeks um <laughs> with the wrinkles but um yeah and then obviously this guy won't have a second face because he's wearing a beanie but oh my god can i get this on yes i can i reckon um even though it's meant to be nezuceratops and it, it was given the triceratops model i'm still happy that they did at least uh paint it the nezuceratops skin so we could at least imagine we have a nezuceratops right and in the trailer we did actually see Triceratops, if you look very closely, Triceratops and Sinoceratops are in the same paddock as Nezutoceratops when they're chasing after the car, you know? And, um, so who knows? They could give Triceratops this skin, but I highly doubt it for the movie. Now, this buggy is really cool because you can sit two people on it. I'm going to get Franklin to sit in the front, and then, uh, Claire will go on the back because she has the carrot, which will lure the Nezuto Ceratops. So I'm not really sure why they want to break into the Ceratopsid paddock. Maybe they want to break them all out or something. Or maybe they're trying to get information that is located within that paddock. I don't know what would be there. Maybe some amber. Who knows? But yeah, you can kind of get the Triceratops to chase Claire and feed it the carrot, I guess, which is very interesting. But then we also have this truck. And it's actually, um, it has a cool feature that I didn't expect it to have. So, if we get the Nezuto Ceratops, Triceratops thing, uh, 
let's push it up back here because I've only got one hand to push it with. So what you can do with this, right, you can actually collide and that will come off. So it's kind of better if, uh, you know, there's more force going into it, but I'll try again. There you go, see? So that's a really cool feature of this, and I didn't expect it to have it, and I always like being surprised with toys, but I'm at this point, I mostly just search up what's in the Lego set, so I was really surprised to see that. I must not have watched the review I watched of it properly. But yeah, these guards, are obviously, they'll either be bad guys, or they're just protecting uh, the Ceratops it heard, but yeah, you can see them in the truck, and we do see that truck kind of gets rolled over in the trailer after... The Nazuto Ceratops hits it, so I don't know if these guys are surviving, to be honest. But yeah, I am. I really do like this set, even um, even if uh, because look, you could kind of imagine the Nazuto Ceratops, right? If I put my finger over it, you've kind of got a Nazuto Ceratops. If you're really desperate, cut it out. But I w I really wouldn't want to do that. But yeah, I still love this set a lot. It's really awesome. So, now here's the fun part of every single build that I get to do. I get to put it amongst my collection, which is every single LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set right here. Uh, we do not have the T-Rex Breakout. For some reason, they delayed it by a month, even though it's already out in stores and people can get some kind of annoyed by that. But then again... I am quite busy, so I don't know if I would have had the time to build a $200 set. So, you know, when it comes out, uh, that should help out a lot. So, what I want to do is I want to place the Nazuto Ceratops here in the way like it's chasing Maisie. Except we will get this here. So, it's kind of like a row of people being chased. And then what we can do, we'll get this guard looking at blue. And then we'll get this guard looking at Pyroptor. So, I didn't show my Pyroraptor set up from last time. We've kind of got Pyroraptor and Blue there. Then from the rest of the set we have Ali and the guard there. Whilst we also have from the Quetzal Quetzal set, Owen and Kayla kind of getting ready for the Pyroraptor to go to them like it does in the trailer. And then also similar to the trailer we have the Giganosaurus and we have the Biosyn car in the back. But I didn't want to flip it just because it looks so much better when it's up like that because you can see all the bias and logos and stuff and then we've got all the the seven characters one two three four five six seven yes seven characters three ogs uh the three uh two jurassic world fallen kingdom and dominion characters so there's that and then i put therizinosaurus up the back you can see it's claws there rexy roaring right at giga and then over here We've got the Atrociraptor scene, similar to the trailer, where Ghost is coming out and chasing Owen. And then I think Tiger's meant to be chasing Claire on the rooftop, but I kind of wanted it to chase Owen in this scene. I just thought it was cooler because Panthera is kind of similar to Tiger, except it just doesn't have the stripes. So I put it all like that. And then, yeah, I've got the Bison helicopter up the back right next to the plane. So the two aerial vehicles, I guess. And then... The juniors, just because they're kind of out of whack, I would say, like, then they don't s stand up to all of these sets. These sets have way more detail. And there's, a like, the T-Rex being neon green is a bit weird, or, like, fluorescent, I guess. I still really like it, though, but I kind of wanted to put them up the back, because these are meant to be more of the Dominion sets. So I just want to have these up front and center, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I've put like one of the biggest scenes in the center, so I'm really happy with all of my Lego. That's about it. I can actually put my massive T-Rex back up here now. So there it is, and here are all the Dominion Legos. And just in case you want to see the rest of my collection, here's the 2021 sets of Camp Cretaceous. Here are the 2020 sets of just random Jurassic World sets. Then I kind of put, like, legacy moments up here. Uh, and the big sets, you can see the mansion and the gates. Those are the two tallest uh, Lego buildings, I believe. And we've got, like, just Indoraptors, Digimolic, Blue, and then this crew from Fallen Kingdom and the bad guys from Fallen Kingdom. 
Then we have just like a Jurassic Park scene where I put all the Jurassic Park Lego figures together. We've got T-Rex, Dilophosaurus, Triceratops, Velociraptor, Gallimimus. We don't really have any other Jurassic Park species, so that is about it up there. And then over here, I combined the 2018 and 2019 sets together. So you can see like the 2018 Fallen Kingdom Cartaurus, and then the T-Rex from the Fallen Kingdom line, and then the 2019 Legends of Isla Nublar. We've also got the Dino Robot mech back up there, and then Baryonyx. I'm really happy I have that blue Baryonyx because it fits in with our... Like, I could put it in the Dominion lineup because this is basically the Fallen Kingdom Baryonyx, aka Chaos. But, yeah, here is the very OG line, Jurassic World. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. This is absolutely every Lego set ever. And yeah, oh, almost, except for one. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.